Okay. So today we are going to be <laughs> okay. This is my personal quad, and here's some a quad that we picked up out of that property. There's two of them, identical. I'm thinking maybe what we would do is we will start on this one, see what parts we need off of that one or vice versa. I don't know really. Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Okay, so we blew up the tires a little bit. When I get this off and get it into the shop there. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're just going to see what what is what. I may uh, clean this up a little bit before we put it into the shop. guess it's a little bit more clean um yeah I gotta get this out of there just to see if we got any more critters in there but I don't see them getting past any of that they can get into some tight spots though you know all right so let's uh Let's go ahead and see if we got spark and uh, see if, uh, yeah, I have to address that issue. It's like, yeah, mm-hmm. So, last driven, what does that say, 13? That's been a minute. Been a minute. I've seen worse things able to uh operate but <laughs> this is a bad one let's get this uh part out of there it's not terrible i'm gonna clean it up a little bit okay so we're looking right about there for spark i got a battery hooked up and we're in neutral oh Let 
Let me run that back and see if we had spark. All right, first of all, let's see if we have 12 volts. We do. And let's see if we have ground on body ground. We do. Okay. I would think that is in, it's in the, the switch here because this switch is really messed up. All right, let's see if she's got any kind of spark. Now I put some wires together that I think is the run. So let's see here. Okay, maybe we don't have a good connection on our boot. Well, let's see here. I don't see anything. Okay, let me cut that back a little bit. Okay. We got it cut back a tad, as you can see. So now, Put our boot back on. Okay, now let's see, we got a little spark there. If I can get it to hold up. All right. All right, we're looking right about there. Let's see if we got spark. Okay, we had a little bit of spark. Did you see that? Fantastic. Now, let's just, uh, I'm going to shoot a little something down in there to, to lube that cylinder. Spray a little bit of something, something into the carb just to see if it should pop off. All right, well, let's see if we can get this thing to pop off. Open up the... Butterfly, it's nice and smooth, so that's good. All right. Cross my fingers, eh? Oh! <laughs> All right, did you hear that? Woo! That's nice. Let's try that again, eh? <laughs> well, you know what's next. Let's go after that fuel system. Man, very nice. Okay. Now, got the thing pulled in further into the to the shop. We are going to be going after the fuel tank next. And then the carburetor. We got to get a bunch of this stuff out of the way. And that boot doesn't look bad it doesn't look like it's got a big hole in it or anything like that breather tube that was crazy that rats that mouse nuts was in there it's only been sitting for like 10 years watch out now got the big can out 
PB Blast. Everybody run. Beware, nuts and bolts. Alrighty. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Yeah, everybody gets a little squirt. Because, like I said, it's been sitting for like 10 years. We have got our work cut out for us. Uh, trying to get things un, unbolted and unscrewed, it seems like. Let it sit for like a half hour. Should be okay now. There we are. PB Blaster, I'm telling you. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, now. What do we got here? That's a 10. Metric. Metric, metric. Just want to take the time to uh, tell everyone thank you. Um, we almost got 850 subscribers. We appreciate it very, very much. Yes, we do. I want to take the time to show you what I'm, my new little tool I got the other day. Pretty cool, huh? I'll be able to see that on and off switch now on that uh, that fuel shutoff down there oh yeah hopefully off means off on this thing haha <laughs> it does very good all right Yes, ladies and gents. Oh, it's a metal tank. Oh, we gotta look inside this thing. Let's look inside this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, we might be in trouble. I, I don't like metal tanks, especially very old metal tanks. Let me get a flashlight and we'll look down in there. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. We have to get a little bit of that macaroni out of there, but it doesn't look like it's totally rusted out, you know? So, okay. Sweet. All right, let's see what we got for a sample here. Oh, it's nasty. Yep, it's nasty. Should have known. Ten years. It's probably mostly water. Alright. Let me show you real quick before I drain it all out. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That's nasty. Yeah, gotta do it. Okay. Well that is uh draining. The rest of that bad fuel. Um, we're gonna get this carburetor out of there. I may have to uh, soak that fuel tank in some evapor rust. I got a big jug from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, I don't see his name right, so I'll. Uh, I will uh, put it in the description and I appreciate that gentleman very much for doing that. That was very nice. What is going on with this thing? All right, let me lube that up a little bit. Let that soak. I'm trying to be as careful as possible because I don't want to put too much money into these things.
<laughs> How many times am I going to drop that screwdriver today, you think? Goodness gracious, Medusa. <laughs> yep. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. That's the green lantern in there. Oh, this is going to be a little crunchy, guys. It's be a little crunchy. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Can I get that with the... Man, that's nasty, isn't it? Let me clean this up a little bit and I'll bring it back. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> the top of it came off. I gotta get the bottom part. Get a little wrench. Couldn't get it with a wrench. See if I can get it with this socket. It's a seven millimeter. There it goes. Woo. Gotta get those things out. At least try like heck, you know. That. See how nasty they get. Yeah. All right, now go down in there. Need a different screwdriver for that one. Ooh, got lucky on that one. Got lucky. That's nasty too. All right, move right along. Get it in the machine. Look what I found in that fuel tank. <laughs> okay. We are back on this beast here. So I noticed this here, of course, and this. But over here, we have some good plastic. Here. Also, we have a good thing here. So, as you can see, this one in the rear is terrible and it's missing a lot of parts. And, of course, this is an issue here. So, I think this is ultimately really going to be it's really bad down in there this is ultimately going to be ultimately going to be a parts bike so I mean they're exactly the same and everything I really wish this one was nicer because I really wanted to have two actual uh good running quads but hey if i can save myself a little bit of coin and make that other one look pretty nice in the process so be it and i'll just sell this one for parts mm. 
boy oh boy come on now all right so where does this thing here attach to down there i seen a huge spider the other day right in here i'm looking out for him <laughs> i don't want to get okay i see it down in there look at there yep right in there is all the plugs so that's good all righty let me uh I can't get you in there. Let me bring you back. It's kind of bunched up a little bit. I'm going to try to show you as much as I can. In this harness right here, there's two wires. Then there's a plug right here. This one right here. And go ahead and unhook that really brittle so i'm not trying not to uh do too much pulling on there really really brittle don't want to snap anything but boy okay there you go all right so pull it through a little bit more kind of see what because it's kind of spidered off so here's one right here there's another one right well here's those two here's the two let me zoom you back out a little bit <laughs> trying to do that with gloves on huh all right so now this guy right here is that another boy oh boy my head's probably all in the way oh oh right there there's another wow that's a smart on honda's part not to put it like right what in the world good lord okay here we go we're going in i see something <laughs> oh this is gonna take a minute so i'm sure you don't want to hear me complaining all right when you know got it out <laughs> yeah like i said this one right here was uh really bad so yeah, that other one looks okay. I didn't break any wires or anything like that. So if I have to, I don't know, rig something up, I can. Just keeps getting better, don't it? Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Franken quad, huh? Oh, that's why I should name this this episode Franken quad. I spell that. <laughs> yeah. Just out here saving junk from the scrapyard. All right. So my camera died. So I didn't, uh, film getting this off that other quad, but it's the same, it's the same stuff. Just different, uh, different angles and that. But yeah, um, I'm glad I got two of these because this stuff can get expensive, you know? You know, in my head, it, it went a lot smoother. Come on now. There you go. Ta-da! Oh, <laughs> I gotta get rid of that one. Because I'm gonna take the other one off of that other one, I think. Yeah. Because this one, 
looks a lot better than this one. So yeah, you get the drift. Okay, just for kicks, I got this little jerry can here. I got the uh, battery hooked up. Okay, we got lights. Choke it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a piece of crap it runs. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Honda, man. You can't beat them. Oh, goodness. <laughs> now, what to do? Yeah, already looking better. Very nice. Okay, been sitting for a couple of days. Let's see how uh, how good this is gonna. Let me bring it back when I'm done. Okay, moving right along. Got these plastics on there. Got that all set. Those two isolators right there. Yeah, looking like a little nice little quad. Okay, so we're gonna get back on the Franken Honda. Uh, we got this cable. This one here is frayed, of course, if you remember. Frayed right here and frayed on the inside. And that, so yeah, let's get that on. Okay. Go ahead and get this off of there. Boy, today is a nice day outside. Glad I got some parts in and that. Get some stuff out of here. As you can see, a lot of stuff is out of here now. Finally getting sold. It's just because the season started. That's all. Come on now. Get off of there. Goodness gracious. What's going on here? Oh boy, there she goes, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, even this side is a little bit frayed, so yeah. Yep, we did the right thing by changing that out. Okay. Should be a 10 mil. Can't remember everything, right? That's why we got YouTube, right? <laughs> no, can't remember everything of all these things when you're doing that. This is just so that nut doesn't back off. Just bend it down a little bit. There we are. Don't lose those little bitty pieces. They are small. Yep. They are small. Okay. Now, kind of take that part out of there. Okay, very careful. See how this got that little spring right there? Uh, get it to there we are okay now now we can get this 
part out. Come on now. No. What's going on here? <laughs> Let me bring you back. Yeah, it's just being stubborn. It's kind of caught. So it just goes out of that little groove there. Let's see what that thing is hanging up on. It is hanging up on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. I see where it is. I know. Love doing stuff twice, right? That's okay. It wasn't too hard. It just, it was inside one of those little keepers in there. Um, that kind of guides it to where it needs to go. So yeah, there it goes right there. Yeah. You see how bad it was. Yeah. All right. So... And with the new one now. Alrighty. So, the way this thing was through there, let's put it right back to where it, it came from. Probably be the best bet, eh? So, feed it through here first. Feed this through the bottom. Make sure you got this all the way up. See how it's kind of, it goes down. You gotta have it all the way up. Then rotate this little spring. Okay. Slide this, this portion here inside there where the spring is. Okay, this is when the tension part comes in. You gotta be very careful to get this right. In my opinion. Okay, get that as far as you can get it. You wanna get that little springing action. See how it's kinda stiff? a little bit less you don't want it too tight up here that's the thing that's the reason why it has that little lock that detent Okay, now we can hit that a little bit on the side and lock that little nut down. There we go. Okay, got the little boot on there. All righty. Moving on to the carb now. Let's go ahead and rotate it like this. Slip it in there. Yeah, it's like that. There we are. Now let's see. Okay. Let's get that uh, cover on there and uh, put the carb on. Okay, it's the next day. Got a little late. I got uh, some.
fresh fuel in here. Let's uh, let's see if it'll fire up for us. It's a little early, so we'll just do it very, very little. Because we still have to uh, see what else we need to put on there. it's very it's very early right now I don't want to wake up my neighbor the one or two neighbors that I do have so yeah but uh let's go outside real quick and uh, see what else we can put on this one from that other one it rained last night I'm just about all night but yeah, I think if this one, see this one got hit, I think in the back. So if this one kind of goes down the road sideways, I'm even gonna start taking brakes and things off of this one. And uh, this this mechanism here, it uh, it it seems to operate pretty good. That'll save a little bit of coin on that. But I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe this may even be a running driving uh, quad too. So I don't know. Um, I did spray a little bit in there uh, in the uh, in the carb and um, and it did pop off a little bit, but then I kind of shut it down. Um, it, it ran for about two seconds and then died. So you know it's gonna have to be the carburetor, but. I don't know if it goes, do you see how bent up it is in the back? So, yeah. Well, with that being said, I really appreciate you following along and that um, it's gonna be a couple of days for me. My uh, uh, my back is uh, has went out again. So um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of, of a rest. So, yeah, well, like always, remember, it's just nuts and bolts, and God bless. I'm kind of enjoying this project. Uh, just a little break. Uh, I charged my batteries a little bit.